Me and Charlie can't make our relationship work. You put me through so much. You. And we finally broke up last week. But this morning, I woke up feeling sick and I'm thinking the worst. I'm a bit worried that I am pregnant. Like, that is the last thing I need right now. Come on, then. It's the moment of truth. Brother or sister time, boy. Are you ready, yeah? Oh, yes, I'm ready. Say, hey, Mummy, please don't be pregnant. There's a line there. No, but you have to look really close. Yeah, I can see that straight away. That doesn't mean anything right now, does it? What would you mean? It means you're pregnant. No, it doesn't. It might not be. That's what the test is saying. It says it means you're pregnant. All right, well, let's not take it as a positive result. Well, who's taking it as a positive no, result? No, we'll just, let's think. I do it. not want a baby. Yes. <laughs> let's think that we're not pregnant. Oh, you can think that, but that thing's telling me that you're pregnant. There is a line there, isn't there? I'm trying really hard not to panic, because it's too early to know for sure. That's just, like I said, hope and pray, because I don't want my life to end yet. Oh, here they are. They're 15 minutes late, but my family have made it to the church. You look nice. It's only you. Are you getting married? Am I getting married? No, I'm just doing my holy communion. <laughs> Shall we go in? Because the father's ready to start the service now. We've come here for Sassy to experience God's love in a unique way that will nourish her for the rest of her life. If we can sit now and if Darren can come up and do the first reading. One minute. <coughs> A reading from the letter of St. Jude. You must use your holy faith as your foundation and build on that. It is the God's news that has been brought to you. Hallelujah. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I first will ask Sassy to come forward and I'll get, offer her the host and the chalice. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Steve's staying another night, but when we go home, will all of this mean nothing? All it, all it is is like, when I go home tomorrow and when you go home, it's like, we don't know how we're gonna be. I don't, I don't think we need to be so serious about it, to be fair. Things do happen when we're around each other. So that mean more and more and more, and that's yeah. you know that and I know that. If we're around each other more, things are going to happen. I know, but it's just hard, do you know what I mean? I know it's hard. It's like, because I do have feelings for it's you, and I know you've got feelings for me, and it's hard for us to be around each other, like, with your ex still involved, do you know what I mean? Do we, do we just avoid these situations for now? I don't get it. If Steve doesn't want me right now, am I wasting my time? In a month's time, things have settled down with used to, like, lows, and then that's when we, me and you can work on something. I don't know, like... Do you know what, right? There's nothing more than what would make me happy when seeing my little boy knowing that he's got another little brother and sister. You feel that girl who's in my life who I would do anything for, no matter what. That's why I know that I can never just, like, walk out your life, like, completely, because I think, like, you're my child's father, like... I care about you so much, I would never want anything bad to happen to you. I'm just glad that everything, what we've been through, we like... We can still sit here now and each bag well together. Like, as long as you're telling the truth and you say you're not getting back together, because that just gives me hope. Yeah. Like, I am willing to wait in a way, but, like I said, I'm not going to be waiting years and years.